Hello Aquarius, this is your September 2019 and as you know it will not resonate with all Aquarius individuals. But this is a, your reading for September. New energies I'm hoping for for Aquarius coming in September 2019. Hopefully positive energies for Aquarius coming in for September 2019. As you know, it does not resonate. It doesn't always resonate with everyone. Let's we'll see what's going on here. Beginning energy coming in. Ah, someone from the past. Someone you have good memories about. Sometimes it's just about thinking about them. And other times it's actually... Get that out of the way. It's, the ring light is getting in the way. It's actually someone coming back from the past. Sometimes. So we'll figure it out. We'll put out the spread. And as you know, the story may change up as I'm going. So bear with me. Knight of Rods, subject at hand. Knight of Rods can be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone noncommittal. Someone not here, there, everywhere, but where you want them to be. Was crossing at the Hermit. Maybe they're keeping to themselves, but who knows? It could be you that's keeping to yourself or you're thinking too much on them. What crowns you is your Ace of Swords. You're not really going for anything or with this person. It's like you're holding back. For some of you in the past, you may have cut off some people or someone may have cut you off. But it's the Ace of Swords in reverse. It also could be that you're having trouble speaking your truth. Foundation. Someone doesn't want to walk away from the situation with the Eight of Cups in reverse. In the past, we got the Page of Swords in the upright. This could be you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or a messenger. A messenger that gets straight to the point and is very honest with the message. Sometimes a very quick message, just like the wands is, but straight to the point. Not as passionate, but it doesn't, you know, him haul around. Near future, the moon in reverse. Something comes out. Something You find out something. We will clarify these. Remember, they could change the story up, so... Possible future outcome or advice from the universe, you may feel a little anxiety. And it could be the universe telling you you're feeling too much anxiety over a situation. Again, we will clarify. What is coming towards you or the outside environment, someone's under a great burden. So it could be that the Knight of, Knight of Rods is a, is a hermit mode, in hermit mode. But someone's carrying a burden, and we got to figure that out soon. Hopes and fears. You're afraid someone will sneak off and you know, cheat on you or cheat you out of something or fly under the radar and not tell you everything. For very few of you, some of you may be afraid that um, someone may find out about something about you, but it's just very for very few. Final outcome, you get a happy home. You get a happy home, Aquarius, in September. You're, you're more happy at home. This is, um, you know, enjoying your home life with family and friends and celebrating like birthdays and holidays and just enjoying, you know, your home life. Maybe some of you will actually get a home, but I don't know yet. We well, got to clarify. And like I said, I could change up the story. Now, the current environment, you got the Knight of Rods and it is in reverse. What's crossing it is the Hermit. So while you're there, Knight of Rods, the Hermit for September 2019 for Aquarius. What's going on? Yeah, someone wants to do a little give and take, but someone wants to help somebody, but someone's keeping to themselves at the same time with the Six of Pentacles. The Knight of Rods, the Hermit, Six of Pentacles, why are you there as a subject at hand for Aquarius? September 2019. But it's like, it's like you're wanting to offer somebody something, but they're not collaborating, and something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with them. They're keeping to themselves. They're not telling you everything. It's like you're hidden and kept in the dark as a subject at hand, but something does come out. Now, you're afraid to speak your truth. You're afraid to speak up. You're afraid to say anything. That could be it, you know, saying your truth with the Ace of Swords in reverse as what crowned you or your goal. Maybe you're trying to turn that around. For very few of you, got you could have gotten cut out of someone's life, but not necessarily. Let's find out. Ace of Swords in reverse while you're there for Aquarius as what crowns them or the goal. What's going on? Yeah, work. You're just going to work. You're going to...
keep your mouth shut and just keep on working the way you feel. And you're, you're thinking, for some of you, I'm feeling, you're saying to yourself, I should just keep my mouth shut and just keep on working and not even worry about everybody else. But I don't know if you'll stay that way. I'm just thinking you're thinking that. Ace of Swords in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. I can't get all those. I could try it. Mm, I don't know. There are too many. I gotta sit there and shuffle a little bit more. If it meant to be, it'll come out again. Ace of Swords in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Why are you there? For Aquarius, it would crowns them or the goal. King of Pentacles, not feeling very secure sometimes, not feeling real stable, not feeling like you got your independence in life and and um, stability where you're at. You're, you're thinking I should be at where I want to be at in this moment in my life. I want to be overall satisfied. And also for some of you, for very few of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that's not feeling this way, you know, very stable. As a foundation... Right here is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is in reverse. Someone doesn't really want to walk away. They may have to, but they don't really want to. So the Eight of Cups, <clears throat> excuse me, in reverse while you're there for Aquarius in September. Why you there? Yeah, you're, you're thinking, I'm just not going to work on this anymore with the Nine of Wands in reverse. I'm not even going to think about trying to work on this anymore. I'm just going to keep to my business. So... Eight of Cups in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse. Why are you there? It's a foundation for Aquarius. And it could be someone's feeling this way about you. Yeah, I'm not going to offer them no more. They just keep on turning me down every time I try to help them with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And in the past, there was a message, possibly from you, uh, that it came straight to the point and sent a message to somebody or you talked to somebody. So Page of Swords in the upright. Why are you there in the past for Aquarius in September? You wanted to offer them happiness. You were happy to help with something. Page of Swords, the Sun card. It was a happy message. Why are you there in the past for Aquarius? Page of Cups, but it may not have been well received, whatever you said with the Page of Cups in reverse. Again, for a very few of you, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Now, in the very near future, we got the moon. Move these over a little. I got a new tablecloth coming to go over this because this grabs like crazy. The moon is in reverse. That's about things coming out. <clears throat> Maybe things that you didn't know about. Sometimes it's deceptions. Sometimes it's just hidden things. But the moon is in reverse and it's come out. Something's come out. So the moon in reverse while you're there. For Aquarius in September, what's going on? Why you? Why is something coming out? What came out? <clears throat> oh, something about releasing a burden. Someone released a burden. Maybe someone is trying to release a burden with a secret. Maybe they tell you something, that they got something off their chest. The moon in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Near future for Aquarius in September. Why are you there? Page of Swords again. Messages. Secret comes out or a hidden thing comes out it's because someone wants to release a burden. Maybe it's it's weighing on their shoulders. Again, as a message, could be you. But I'm thinking they could be sending it to you also, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra with the Page of Swords. Now, possible future outcome or advice from the universe. I'm thinking it's advice from the universe. It's saying you're having too much anxiety over this. It's just keeping you up nights. So Nine of Swords in the upright while you're there for Aquarius in September. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're having anxiety over not having enough or something. You're afraid something will come to a complete halt. With the um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, it also could be that's a very few of you, again, could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Can I have another card for the Nine of Swords in the upright? King of, I mean, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there in September? Someone is carrying a burden, but they want to release it with you. And enjoy yourself. The, the universe says, don't worry about things that stopped, because that's what you're doing. You're worrying about things that that 
aren't moving forward the way you want to. It could have something to do with any of these signs because they're all here. And it's telling you just to enjoy your life. Um, go out, enjoy your family, and celebrate. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your life in general. Outside environments right here. What is coming towards you is someone with a burden. We already saw that. Someone releases it, wants to tell you something. So Ten of Wands in the upright while you're there for Aquarius as the outside environment or what is coming towards them. Yeah, someone, someone wants to um, um, come clean with you. They want to come clean with you with the devil in reverse. They want to come unchained from a burden that they are carrying. So the Ten of Wands in the upright, the devil in reverse while you're there for Aquarius as what is coming towards them while you're there. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Ace of Wands. It's not about starting a new beginning. I don't think you're going to start a new beginning. This has nothing to do with that. They just have to tell you something. Something that they need, like I said, to come clean with. Has something to do that way, a reason why something did not start with you and them. Or why they could not start a new beginning with you for some reason. Or take your offer. Something happened. It would be different for everyone. But just expect someone try to, to tell you something to come clean. Someone of a message. And you're worried about them. You're worried about this person. Something happened with them. And I think you tried to help them. And you didn't want to walk away. But you may have to. You're thinking I may have to. Because your fear is the Seven of Swords, your hopes and fears. And I don't think it's a hope of the Seven of Swords. Well, it could be you're just trying to sneak away, you know, quietly without causing a ruckus. But the Seven of Swords in the upright and the hopes and fears and manifestations for Aquarius in September while you're there. A lover situation. Maybe you're afraid someone cheated on you or is going to leave you. Or maybe they're going to... It could be that some people feel this way about you, too. Because sometimes these readings can flip. could have to do with the Knight of Cups. It's trying to come out. It could be a Pisces Cancer or Scorpio or someone um, who's feeling really emotional right now. Or their emotions aren't in check. Or they could just not be feeling well. But you may be... Um, afraid of a situation with a lover, you know, and it could have to do with the Knight of Cups and the way they offer themselves to you. In the end, you get a happy family. You get happy celebrations. You love your home. You love the way your home is. You are content in your home. So the Four of Wands in the upright while you're there for Aquarius in the very end. And it does say to celebrate in your home. The Chariot, you're putting an end to chaos with the chariot in reverse. You may not go anywhere. You just may stay in your home for a little bit. Not really travel as much because you will enjoy your home. But also it says with the chariot in reverse, it's like putting away chaos, trying to put away chaos, put things to a halt that, that are basically chaotic. So four of wands in the upright, the chariot in reverse while you're there. For Aquarius in the very end, the world. Yeah, you're going to still be dealing with this person in the past because the world is in reverse. So you're still dealing with past um, karma, karmic situations, past relationships. It's not over yet, whatever you're going through. But at the same time, you're afraid to move forward with it. Part of you wants to walk away and part of you don't. But someone does tell you something to release a burden, maybe, you know, they got something, you know, that's weighing them down. This could be you that's releasing the burden, you know, sometimes it's like that. But it's like something's keeping you up at night and you're saying, it's keeping a dead halt in my life or somebody else's life. But the universe says to relax, let things go, um, uh, enjoy life for once instead of worrying about, you know, burdens and things that didn't work out and messages. Enjoy your home. Stay home for a little bit and deal with past issues that need to be taken care of. But if you do, you won't be hating it. Let me put it that way. You won't be. In the end, you got the two of pentacles. You may have to drop the ball on something. You may have to drop a situation and uh, focus on one thing in your life that needs to be taken care of. Like the home, you know, a happy home. And celebrating with your family. And put away the Seven of Swords energy and break free from the negativity with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Has to do again with the King of Cups. 
has to do with the King of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly. And they do, or you come out of, or they come out of the Five of Pentacles. In other words, coming out of feeling like they don't have enough. Um, that they will be kicked out of their home possibly or you know homelessness sometimes the five of pentacles represents that you see how the people are, are poor uh, get that stupid light out of the way see how the people are kind of poor and struggling outside of a church and they don't have enough well this goes in reverse and with it in reverse I, I read it this way that you're coming out of this abandonment even though you still feel a little afraid or you're helping somebody else to come out of abandonment because of something that came out. Maybe that's what someone is telling you, that they're going to be homeless soon or something like that. It's going to be different for everybody, but a truth is going to come out. Something needs to come out about something that someone's carrying a burden. Whether you're carrying this, I'm thinking it's somebody else. And your anxiety about them. I think you tried to help this person before. And they maybe you turned it down. Or they weren't working with you. Or they were just kind of messing up and stepping back and not accepting your offers. But then they do come to you, this person does. Or this, whatever situation it is. And saying, this is why I'm doing this. And you were fearing the worst. But it looks like you just re, you just reevaluate what what happened and you go back to your home with this person and you enjoy life again you put a halt to some of the karmic situations or you put them on hold for now to work on them and then don't forget the universe says you may have to drop something so you come out of anxiety enjoy your life and come in out of feeling chained by this negative situation that has to do with an uh, emotional situation where someone feels left out and um a truth is told you know and I will let this go and I will try to give a bonus reading I can't guarantee anything but I will be back for uh, mid-September's reading for sure and I'll talk to you later okay Aquarius bye